Okay. Uh, next game, Packers at the Lions. Uh, this line open up uh, Packers minus eight. It's down to seven and a half. It looks like there's sharp money on the Lions. Uh, who do you like in this game? I don't know why the Sharps would like the Lions. I'm on the Packers <laughs> here. Um, and, you know, I shouldn't doubt the Sharps. They obviously know what they, they're doing more than me. But um, I, I just – I don't see a reason to like the Lions in this one. The Packers are rolling right now. Their offense looks great. And, you know, I know the Lions just – they they just scored 34 on the Bears defense, so that will look good to some people. But the, the Bears just aren't as good as people think they are anymore. Um, like, there's still some semblance of like, oh, they still have a good defense. Their offense is bad. It's like, no, nah, they're just kind of – they have some good defense players, but they're bad. So – um, you know, they even like, I think Kyle Fuller last week gave up a long touchdown to Quintez Cephas. So, um, you know, I like Quintez Cephas as much as the next guy, but you know, that's not a great sign. Um, uh, I, I think that the, the lions are going to have trouble containing the Packers offense, especially their run game. I mentioned this earlier, but Detroit has allowed, uh, 23 rushing touchdowns on the year. Um, so that's, uh, not ideal. Um, they're going to, uh, they're going to have a lot of trouble with Aaron Jones. And then that'll just open things up for Aaron Rodgers. And I don't think the Lions are healthy right now. Kenny Galladay may not play. Um, he hasn't practiced in like three weeks. Um, so even if he's limited on Wednesday, I'm not going to trust that he's going to come back. And if he's a non-participant on Wednesday, um, you know, that just uh, that's a tip of the hand that he probably won't be playing this week. So without Kenny Galladay, you have Marvin Jones going up against J.R. Alexander, who limited him to 23 yards. Um, albeit with a touchdown in week two when they last met. Um, and in that game, the Packers offense just went crazy and Aaron Jones went crazy. And I think they're going to do it again. I, I just think they're going to run all over this team. I think there's going to be an emotional letdown for the Lions who are coming off a, a big win. They kind of they purged Matt Patricia from their system. They won for Daryl Bevel. And now they come home to face the Packers. Um, and, you know, they, as much as they want to win this game, I think that they'll be happy that they were able to beat the bears um, and get Bevel his first win as the new coach. So I'm going to be on the Packers here for a couple units. Um, but what, uh, let's see. Uh, you agree with me if you're with the Sharps. I, I'm with the Sharps. I, I like the lines a lot and it really depends on Galladay status. Like if Galladay comes back, like that's, this is going to be a huge play for me. Galladay's out. Like I'm going to still like the lines, but, all, but less so. I actually think that this is uh, a much bigger game emotionally for the Lions than the Bears game was. Like, I, I think this is Detroit's Super Bowl, really. I mean, to to make sure the Packers don't get the number one seed, um, especially after getting blown out, like absolutely demolished by the Packers a week two. Um, I, I think that they're going to try very hard to be to play the Packers tough. And remember last year, they they played the Packers tough twice. Uh, I, I know they, like I said, they got blown out week two, but uh, you know, these, these divisional games are usually a lot closer than people think they are. And, you know, while I agree with you that the Packers could run all over, all over the lines, I think the lines could run all over the Packers too. The Packers run defense is so bad and DeAndre Swift should be back this week. Like he was so close to playing last week. So he should return. That should give the lions, um, a big, a, a big boost, I think. And the Packers, you know, Think about it this way, like they I know they covered against the Eagles last week, but they almost didn't. Like they needed that miraculous Aaron Jones uh touchdown run to do so. Uh otherwise they would have won by six points and they wouldn't have covered the spread. And like that Jones run was phenomenal, but like you can't really expect a front door touchdown like that every week, right? So uh, you know, the fact that they they barely covered against the Eagles, um, I think that says a lot. Uh, and I think it has to do with their offensive line injuries. Like they're down two offensive linemen. Um, and I know Detroit doesn't have the best defensive line, but they could get, they could be getting back some of their injured defensive linemen in this game. And if that happens, um, that's like another reason to like the Lions. I, I think that with, you know, key numbers of three, six and seven, I think there's a good chance that Stafford gets a backdoor touchdown at the very least, especially if Galladay plays. Um, so that's, that's like, that's a big reason why, like, like if Galladay, Galladay has to be on the field because then he's preoccupied by Jerry or Alexander, which means Stafford could throw, throw to, uh, Marvin Jones or TJ Hawkinson. Now, if Alexander's on, on Jones, that changes a lot because like now he doesn't really have any good receivers. Like he has Cephas and Hawkinson and some, like, I guess Amendola, like not, not great options, but if, if Galladay is taking up Alexander's coverage, I think that that could get the lines to backdoor cover. I, I think the lines will do that. Um, e you know, e if they don't keep it close, I think they'll get the backdoor cover. So I like Detroit a lot. Yeah. The Packers have definitely had trouble with backdoor covers recently. I would, I believe there's one I'm thinking of that I was victimized by uh, last week. I was the benefit. We were the beneficiary of that one, but 
Um, I, I just, I have a feeling that Aaron Rodgers is going to be ready for this one. I, I can't describe it other than that. Um, and I do think that against the Eagles, I think that they just kind of gave up when Jalen Hurts came in the game, which was a mistake um, because they had that like fourth and long and then he just tossed a touchdown. Like, um, I think they thought they were going to just bring him down and then be able to run out the clock and that didn't happen. And I think it caught him off guard because they made a lot of mistakes down the stretch in that game. So I think that, you know, I am a little wary of the run defense. Um, I have DeAndre Swift in fantasy though, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> um, but I still think that they're going to find a way to uh, run all over the lines. But I, I do see your side of the coin. There's There could be some motivation there. I just don't trust the Lions. Yeah, you're you're not. Uh, you know, I don't blame you at all for not trusting the Lions, <laughs> but I, I I do think that this this number is a little too high, and I th- I think that the backdoor cover is definitely in play. Um, 